Hello. This is Mike. No stress, Mike .com. And uh, I want to kind of talk about some of the stuff that I really don't talk too much about uh, when I'm doing Hoi Chi. And uh, uh, the thing is, well, the first thing is I don't, I don't know everything. <laughs> so I'm just sharing what I know. And then uh, some of the stuff, it, it gets... Uh, kind of complicated and uh, I I don't want to confuse people because when I'm doing the Hoi Chi I'm sharing a lot of information okay uh, one of the things is uh, let's see GMO yeah, GMO uh, the foods that are uh, got the chemicals and, and stuff in there I really don't talk so much about it and the main reason is you should know about it. And uh, when I'm doing a treatment, I'm giving so much information. You're overwhelmed with so much stuff. And then you start changing your diet that much. When you stop uh, consuming uh, food that doesn't digest properly and you start having good food along with everything else it's it's really shocking to your system i mean nothing wrong with it but it's just uh it's a little bit a lot and uh, the treatment itself is a lot i mean you're going to tell a lot of things are going to happen and i'm going to explain a lot of things but i don't really want to get into the the food uh, another thing I really don't talk about is vaccines. Um, I don't know absolutely for a fact uh, that vaccines work. I would guess and say there's probably a handful that work and uh, the rest are more toxins for your body to deal with. And uh, this is why the social distancing is not healthy for you. You need to get out and get a little bit of all kinds of weird stuff that's out there and let your body get used to it and learn how to handle it a little bit under normal conditions instead of being a lab rack. And uh, now... Uh, Another thing is the thyroid. Uh, the thyroid, and there's a lot of people with thyroid problems. Uh, I used to check thyroid. I can check the thyroid. I can tell you if it's working. And uh, the, the problem I have is, and it's mostly women. And uh, now... What they normally do is if the doctor's giving them thyroid medicine, they think they need thyroid medicine. And uh, one thing about people that are taking medicine, if they're taking medicine, they just kind of, they think that they have to have medicine. Uh, the more medicine somebody takes, um, really the less I can do for them because they have so much toxins in them, there's not a lot I can do for them. And... Um, because they keep poisoning themselves. Yeah, you know, I mean, what do you want me to do? You know, you get a hammer and you hit yourself in the head and you say, Mike, my head hurts. I grab your hand, the, the hand, and you stop hitting yourself. Ah, my, now my head doesn't hurt anymore. And then you, after I leave, then bam, oh, you're hitting your, then your head hurts again. You know what I mean? If you're going to poison yourself, you're going to keep doing bad things, bad things are going to happen to you. <laughs> you know, that's what the Hoi Chi does. I explain what stuff does to you and how it affects your body. The thyroid. Now, this is what I tell people. My wife had thyroid problems. Matter of fact, my wife had uh, uh, two strokes. And uh, one wasn't real bad, but it was enough you could tell she had a stroke. And then the other one, she was totally paralyzed. And that's the one where I... I kind of stayed with her for five years to and it, and I was able to get her back going again I got her going except for her mind was a little slow 
But um, uh, the side effect of the medication was stroke, the medication for the thyroid. And uh, the thing is, I, I can, like I say, I can check it. The problem, well, no, the, I'm going to start with the doctor. When the doctor is checking your thyroid, you can be honest with him. And uh, he'll, I don't know if he'll be honest with you or not, but you can be honest with him. And then ask him, okay, uh, when uh, does, the, does the thyroid kick on and kick off? Or does it continually run? Okay, and then the next question is, and then, then you ask when he tells you, and then you say, well, how do you know? Okay, so that, that, that the reason is I want you to tell me how I know so that I can learn something. So far, nobody knows. Uh, doctors haven't admitted to it. And the reason, the next thing you ask them is they check your thyroid with a blood test. So then the next question you ask them is, well, do you uh, check my thyroid when my thyroid is working or when it's not working? In other words, now we're right back to how do you know if it's working or not working? I want to know this. I can know. I can find out. I can tell you that. And the reason is I've checked it. And then an hour later, I can check you, and then it's, it's going or it's not going. It'll go kick on, kick off. And, uh, but I say nobody's going to believe me. And on the, the thyroid, for it to kick on and kick off like that, it's not going to give you a body response where it's going to make sense to you when I'm explaining how your body is working. So, uh, so anyway, that's... Uh, that's something that I don't really like to, I can check it, but whatever I tell you, you know, in an hour, it's going to be different, <laughs> you know, so what difference does it make for me to check it? And it's not anything that you're doing that I'm aware of. Uh, now, the way I understand it's kicked on through hormones. So it, uh, when your hormones are working, then it, it kicks on, kicks off, it knows when it's supposed to work a lot of your body knows when it's supposed to work it's just we do bad things to our body to stop it from working and uh, so uh, that would be something that would be uh, really interesting because I don't know exactly uh, if I if I knew exactly what they were doing when they take a blood test to check your thyroid then maybe I could figure out uh, some other issues that the thyroid uh, might give you. Um, but anyway, uh, now, uh, let's see, I think that's, that's probably about the main things that I don't talk about. Uh, most anything else, uh, I'll cover it. I may not cover it on that particular person, that particular treatment, that particular day, because like I say, it's not something that I'm finding. I'm, I'm just talking about stuff that I'm fine and give you options on fixing. Oh yeah, one more thing is uh, uh, gluten. Yeah, I don't talk about gluten. Man, gluten's in, the, in grain and, and bread and stuff. And I don't tell people to stop eating that stuff. Man, I don't even know how you do it. I know people do it. Uh, and it's a big thing in your diet. And now the thing is, will it help you? Well, do it for 30 days and then see how your body reacts. And then that'll tell you if it's, if it's something that you shouldn't be eating or not. But then after 30 days, man, I mean, that's, then you find out, well, nothing's changed. Well, they went through all that for nothing. I mean, it's hard to be gluten free. I mean, about everything's got gluten in it. And, uh, so you really got to know your, your dieting and, um, um, uh, the, even vitamins. I really don't tell people what kind of vitamins they have or they need to take. But I'm telling you how your body is working. So now you know if your liver is not working right. Now you know you need to get vitamins and herbs and stuff to work on your liver. So that's what I'm saying. It just it just depends. So I just kind of... But, but there are some things that I don't talk about when I'm doing Hoi Chi. And that's because it's 
even more, it complicates everything even more so than what I'm already explaining to you when I'm doing a treatment. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.